Hi everyone. In today's recap video, we are going to look at how to calculate the mass that is gained or lost by an electrode during an electrochemical reaction. And the example I'm going to use is I'm going to use the aluminium silver galvanic cell. So let's start by drawing this galvanic cell. We're going to draw two half cells with a salt bridge in the middle. So sort of our standard setup for a galvanic cell. There's our salt bridge, our voltmeter, and our two electrodes. Our liquid level. Right, let's make the left our anode, and let's make the right our cathode. Now, if we go to our table 4B and grade 12s, if you are uncertain how to use your table 4B, please pop over to our YouTube channel, have a look at um, part of one of our past videos where I actually went through how to use the table 4B to determine which is the anode and the cathode in galvanic cells. So it's actually very important. So we use our table 4B, and by using table 4B, we'll see that the aluminium is going to be the anode. And our silver is going to be the cathode. So let's label that. All right. Then remember that the cathode is where reduction takes place. And the anode is where our oxidation takes place. So the reduction, of course, means that we are gaining electrons. And the oxidation means, of course, that that electrode is having a, experiencing a loss of electrons. Now, remember that if an electrode gains electrons, it means it's also going to gain some mass. Because even though electrons are tiny, each electron actually has a certain mass. And if there's a loss of electrons, like on the left there with the anode, the aluminium anode, we know there's also going to be a loss of mass. Right, so up to here, we've pretty much discussed all of this in our online lessons. But now the question is, how can we work out exactly what mass of aluminium is lost and what mass of silver is actually gained? I'm going to start now, first of all, by doing the calculation um, for the cathode, for the silver cathode on the right-hand side. And before we do that, I just want to recap a few important equations and some important values. So the first important value that we need to remember is that if we have one mole of electrons, we must remember that that charge of one mole of electrons is equal to 96,500 Coulomb. Okay, so that is the charge of one mole of electrons. Um, an equation that's also that we need to know, which I'm just recapping again, is Q is equal to I times T. Remember the Q is the charge measured in Coulombs. The I is the current, and we measure that in ampere. Time, T, and we measure in seconds. Right, and then our last important equation is the number of moles of electrons, the so number of moles of electrons that's transferred is equal to the charge that's transferred divided by the charge of one mole of electron, which of course is that value over there. Okay, so that's what we need to be able to work out what is the mass gained by that silver cathode on the right hand side. So let's just say that in that last galvanic cell that I drew on the screen, let's say that the current that is produced is 6 amps. Um, and let's say that we want to work out the mass that is gained by the silver electrode in one hour. Right, so I'm giving you the time over there, the one hour, and I'm giving you the current of 6 ampere. So the very first thing, let's start with that equation. Q is equal to I multiplied by T. Let's start by working out what that Q value would be. So we start with our current, which is 6. Time has to be in seconds. So it would be 60 minutes multiplied by 60 again, 
and then we get a value of 21,600 coulombs. So that is the charge that we've now calculated. If we now want to work out the number of moles of electrons that's transferred, remember that is the charge over the charge of one mole of electron. So let's now take that 21,600 and let's divide it by that constant value that I gave you on the last screen. So that is 96500 and we will work that out. I'm just going to round that off to three decimal places. So we get 0, 0,224 mole. And remember that is mole of electrons that are transferred. Next step now would be to look at the actual equation at the cathode. So since we're working at the silver cathode, let's look at what is the reaction. We know the cathode is reduction, and we know that reduction is gaining electrons. So we need to write from our table 4B, we need to write that equation in the correct order. So this would be Ag positive, and we're going to assume um, we're working in aqueous, plus an electron gives us Ag solid. If we have a look at the ratio here, so the ratio of electrons, so the number of moles of electrons to the number of moles of silver solid, because this is a balanced equation, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So therefore, my number of moles of Ag solid should be equal to my number of moles of electrons transferred that I've worked out, which is going to be 0, 0,224 moles. Once we have that number of moles, we can then convert that into a mass. So we have now calculated number of moles of our Ag solid is zero comma and of course I've I've rounded off a zero comma two two four moles of silver solid. Remember this equation number of mole is equal to the mass over the molecular mass. We can now use this to convert into a mass. Remember over here your MR that is the value that you'll find on your periodic table. So that is basically given to you. So remember that that is never an unknown. You just need to look it up on the periodic table. And this mole value over here, we are going to substitute into the number of moles over there. So we effectively will get 0, 0,224 is equal to mass divided by um, our um, molecular mass there, which is 108 on the periodic table. If we rearrange that equation, we'll get the mass is equal to 0, 0,224 multiplied by 108, and that will give us 24,17 grams. So that is the mass gained by the silver electrode. Right, so if we quickly go back to the beginning when we started with this, this example, I drew for you guys a galvanic cell and we had a salt bridge like that. I'm just drawing it very quickly. We had our voltmeter on this side. We had an anode. On the right-hand side, we had a cathode like that. Right, we had our aluminium solid anode. And this side, we had our AG solid, our silver solid cathode. So we've basically used these equations to work out the mass gained by the silver electrode. So this silver electrode over there on the right-hand side is going to gain uh, 24,17 grams in mass. That's how much heavier it's going to become. Right, so my question now to you. We know that the anode is a loss. So can we work out the loss in mass, the loss of mass of the aluminium electrode on the left hand side that is my question or, or actually my challenge for you guys if you're watching this video use this video as a guide exactly what i've done for the silver cathode do exactly the same thing but do it for the aluminium anode and i'd like to know how much mass does that aluminium anode lose in that time that i've given you so um, we said one hour which is 60 minutes okay so work it out once you've worked it out, pop over to our virtual classroom 
And uh, if you are a member of our online school, pop over to our virtual classroom. There will be a link there. Add your, your answer and we'll see how everyone does. And I'll give you guys feedback from there. And um, if we need to, we'll discuss it in our next online lesson. And if you'd like to find out more about our online school, you are welcome to visit our website. The web address is on the screen. It's amandaonline.co.za. And basically, we offer um, extra tuition lessons all online. So it's um, all given in real time, uh, mathematics and physical science, and it's all be uh, based on the essay curriculum. So um, the nice thing is you can join in from anywhere around South Africa. And if you're not a part of our online school, no problem. You can also follow us on Facebook or you can follow us on YouTube. And once a week we are uploading uh, recap videos to help you with your studies, particularly now uh, grade 10, 11 and 12 physical science. But there will also be uh, mathematics coming soon.